Yo, what's going on guys? Just want to say thank you for all the support on the channel recently. I thought I'd make a little intro video. Tell you guys, this is going to be the top 5 most overpowered class setups for sniping and modern warfare. And this is going to include some warzone stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you guys are new. We're on the road to 12,000 subscribers. I really do appreciate the support. So make sure you guys do it right now. Drop a like. Comment if you guys watch this intro. Just comment down intro. And I'll see you guys in another video. Peace. Fuck these kids. Let's go, five on car. Fuck that kid. Oh! Quad head! Five on. I had a five on. Wait, let me go. Oh! Oh, holy shit! Hey, what's going on guys? Rondo here, bringing you guys the top five best overpowered classes for sniping in Modern Warfare, and this is going to conclude... Um, just class setups for multiplayer and a little bit of Warzone. Um, I'm going to try to give a little both for each insight so then you guys can have setups for both things. So let's get right into this. All right, so we're just going to jump right in. Um, I know a lot of people that might click on this will want to check out for Warzone. So I'm just going to give you guys my AX50 um, class that I use set up um, nothing else just the AX50. Um, so I use the Lonely Goon variants don't matter doesn't increase your damage or nothing. But I use the 32.0 factory barrel. This actually gives you damage rain, bullet velocity, and recoil control. Um, so make sure you have this. Some people I noticed they'll have the 17.0 factory barrel for speed. But in Warzone, you're at longer distances. Most of the time you're not up close quick scoping very often. Unless if you are, then you would probably want to use the car. Um, but if max, you want to use the 32.0 factory barrel for Warzone. Then TAC laser, Syngard arms assassin, sight of hand, and stipple grip tape. So basically the only thing you're really changing from multiplayer to warzone is just the barrel so just make sure to keep that an eye on that for that so and then now i'm going to just jump into a, one of my favorite classes i feel like this is one of my favorite classes just for um getting like different types of style clips and then using the ax50 especially since this buff happened with the car and the ax the, the these two weapons together are just super fun um i feel like the speed of the ax is a lot faster than the car is just insanely fast so for the car I have TAC laser, sniper scope, F-TAC sport comb, sight of hand, and stipple grip tape, all aim down sight speed attachments. And then one thing that I really like to use, I um, didn't have time to change this, but I would use cross thread sight or I would use cover shot. These two reticles are e like by far one of my favorites. I feel like the triangle is really nice, but these two scopes, I feel like it's really good for faster paced sniping, especially if you guys like rushing, playing aggressive. On this game and most of the time you got to you're not trying to camp because everyone's playing like cracked players in this game and then for the ax50 i have 17.0 factory barrel tack laser sing guard arm assassins sight of hand and stipple grip tape so that's my ax50 class swap overkill it's really nice make sure you guys use quick fix overkill and amp i feel like people don't really realize but the quick fix is such a crucial perk you don't really need eod quick fix every time you kill someone your health regenerates you can keep going on streaks and just destroying i feel like people don't really know and use quick fix that much to so make sure to use that and try it out um so for my next class this is gonna be my um car to ride tech amr and when I use this class, um, it's the same thing as my last car. It's got all aim down sight speed attachments with the cover shot or cross thread reticle. And then my Rye Tech, I have the barrel F TAC 448 millimeter dictator, TAC laser, variable zoom, S tool TAC wrap, and stipple grip tape. I know some people use just the default scope on this and they get like sight of hand or something, which you can definitely do. But I feel like the variable zoom, it's like a little more zoomed out so then you have it's not so up close and i feel like quick scoping is a lot more smooth but this gun's pretty hard to use 
you definitely gotta put time in it to um, use it but all these are aimed on sight speed attachments help the speed of it but then I the variable zoom is just a little better it's like gives it a little bit of a slow not too slow of a scope in but it just helps for just the pace of the game so um, that's for my Rytec car and then um this is my next one this is gonna be the next class that i have is the butterfly kisses and the hdr so car like i said it's the same aim down sight speed attachments like usual and then we have the hdr and this is actually attack laser f tac stalker scout and then the sight of hand and bipod um don't use a you can use a sight on the hdr but honestly if you use the original hdr um default one and put no scope on it the original scope's really really nice i never really realized i was always wondering why if it was a, like a variant that people were using but it's yeah it's just the default scope so make sure you guys use that and then basically i'm just going to give you guys a rundown of my mk2 um setup that you guys can use um i haven't been using it as much just because i use it so much i'm trying to get different clips with different guns but if you guys are going to use the MK2, which is broken, make sure to use Tac Laser, Sniper Scope, FSS MK2 Sport Comb, Sight of Hand, and Stipple Grip Tape. These are all OP classes, overpowered. Trust me, use these classes. Come back and comment on this video. Um, check it out. You guys are going to really enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new, and I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.